Last year I talked about moving this into December, but I'm coming around to the idea that maybe doing this on the actual anniversary of the channel makes more sense. It's obviously not going to get as much pickup because you have a year in review hitting in early February, but it fits more in my thinking and it's nice to have a video anchored in early part of the year that I know I can make relatively quickly. 2023 was obviously a weird year for the channel because I started working with Bioware again, which takes up a lot more of my time. We dropped the channel down from two videos a week to one, and that's going to have fairly significant impacts. We're finishing out at almost 16,000 subscribers, but we crossed 15,000 way back in September. So the channel has been growing very slowly for the last little while. Comparing this past year to the year before, let's go through in the same order that we did last year. Number of views down from 325,000 to about 250. That's actually not too bad when you consider that we've basically have the number of videos that I'm posting on a week over week basis. Early part of the year was two a week, and you can actually see that the channel actually is a slightly above the previous year. But then as we've gone down to just once a week, it's fallen below the year before. But overall, individual videos doing slightly better. Had my most successful video of all time last year, which was the, the Larian BG3 video. If I was chasing views and subscribers more, it would point me towards doing more topical stuff. Don't think that's going to happen. No Mary's in Lesson videos this previous year. In fact, you can see that the Dragon Age Inquisition Mary's in Lesson video from the year before is actually still getting enough views to be the in the top five of videos for the previous year. As we wind down with Bioware, we'll get back to some of that and probably see the videos pick up again. But overall, pretty pleased with where we are given the situation. Similarly, with view hours down more from 46,000 hours to 26,000, in large part because in 2022, we had a lot of Memories and Lesson videos, which are long and have very long watch times, whereas the most successful video in 2023 was the Larian video, a much shorter video, therefore generates a lot less watch time. Not a lot to say here. Similar to views, less videos means less watch time. Not particularly concerned about where we are here. If you've noticed that the Q&As seem to be getting slightly further and further apart, that's because we do them every 5,000 subscribers and we're not getting 5,000 subscribers in a year. In 2022, we got 4,500 about, and in 2023, it's just under 4,000. A fall, but not a huge fall, only about 10% less. Again, pretty pleased with that, given that I've been forced to put less attention into the channel overall. Last little while, however, it's been very flat, gaining about 50 to 90 subscribers in a month. At this rate, it's gonna take us a really long time to get to 20,000 subscribers. But historically, this isn't that inconsistent. You can see in the year previous, the baseline was a little bit higher, but channel growth has mostly been driven by a couple of key moments that drew a lot of attention onto the channel. I think that's going to probably remain true. And so for the medium term, there's not going to be a lot of big attention grabbing videos. So channel growth is probably going to be slow for a little while. The one place where there has been a noticeable change is with members. Membership growth in the first year of the channel was huge. Makes sense. People had the opportunity to support the channel. They did so. And a lot of those people have continued to support the channel ever since. Last year was down about a third of what we got in the first year. In the last 365 days, we've actually lost members overall. Now what happens is that this is all net, so you are getting some people coming in new and some people leaving, but overall the channel's actually lost eight members over the last 365 days. Disappointing, but not too surprising. People will follow a channel for a certain length of time and support it for a certain length of time. And then some of them will move on, which is completely fair. Without a lot of new content to draw in new people, you are going to slowly go down. Concerning, because I expected there to be a ratio of members to subscribers. That ratio doesn't seem to exist because the number of members 
has gone down even while the number of subscribers has gone up. So we don't see that ratio actually existing at all. Once the channel gets back onto a more normal footing, I think we will stabilize this to some degree. This one bothers me more than the other metrics we've looked at. It's basically for the same reasons as the rest. View duration is down a little bit, but this is really coming down to the fact that the average length of content is slightly lower because when we look at view percentage, we're actually up a little bit. Not a huge amount of movement here. We are seeing 2% movement, which isn't really statistically significant. In fact, it's probably driven simply by there being shorter videos on average. Something to continue to work on, 25%, not a great view percentage, probably want to keep pushing that up until at least I'm getting into the 50% because this is an indication that I'm either drawing people into videos who are then not finding what they want and clicking away right away, or people are just getting bored of me and wandering off. But at least it's stable, so that's something. One thing that has been something that I have spent more time on in the last year has been improving my titles and thumbnails. And we are seeing that pay off quite significantly. Click through rate last year was 3.2% versus the year before it was 2.1%. So that's a greater than 50% improvement, which is pretty significant. Obviously, still room to grow here. Mr. Beast way higher than 3%, but pretty happy with, with such a significant improvement. In fact, a lot of the reason why my views haven't declined as much as my amount of content has declined is that each video is doing better than the ones from the previous year because we're getting better click through rate and more people just give willing to give the videos a try because my title and thumbnail game is gotten a little bit better. Lots of room to go, but I'm pretty happy that we've had such a significant improvement in the last 365 days. Moving into the meat, the revenue. In 2022, we basically were about $5,000 with about $4,800 from the channel and then another $200 from merch in that. Not a lot of merch movement in the last year. So with the channel posting less, less advertising revenue, we lost some members. We've gone from about $5,000 to $4,200. That's actually not too bad, but a 20% drop with a 50% drop in content. So thank you for sticking with me if you are one of the people who is supporting this channel because it's very helpful to continue to have money coming in through the channel even while the channel is kind of in this semi life support situation. CPM, which is the amount of money that the, the videos are making per thousand views, pretty much flat, about $6.90, $6.96. I don't think that's representative of anything. I think that's just where we've been. That's kind of in the middle for what YouTube seems to be. Nothing really to do there other than, you know, make, make uh, financial advice videos or something that gets a higher CPM. Just a piece of information for those of you who are interested. So as you can see, the amount of money that I'm making in the different channels still hugely dominated by memberships, which is awesome. Thank you for your support. Down a little bit because we lost a few members. Watch page ads down more because viewer viewership is down more. So this all tracks, makes sense. One thing that's a little bit surprising is the percentage of my revenue that is coming from YouTube Premium has actually gone down. It seemed like the number of people with YouTube Premium was actually going up. So if that's true, it means that I'm actually losing more viewers from those people than from the people who aren't paying for YouTube Premium. But maybe that's not true. Or maybe they're just watching so much YouTube that, that their uh, revenue is being spread out amongst a lot of other people. It's not a huge amount of money. It's $128 versus, uh, what, 180 the year before. But uh, it's something just that I noticed. So last year when I did this video, I was talking about how the it had been a hard year for the channel. Arguably, this is a harder year, but going in with much lower expectations just based upon what's happened over the last 12 months. So honestly, I'm fairly content with where we are. Would I wish that the channel was much bigger by now? Absolutely. Do I wish that my views were up and my watch time was up? Absolutely. But it's hard to expect that when my content volume is cut in half. Thank you for sticking with me. For those of you who've been here from the beginning, I guess we're going into year three. 
For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. We talk about video games and video game production. A very special thanks to my members because you provide the resources that this channel needs to keep running. As we just saw, if you're interested in becoming a member, there's a link to that down in the description. If you're interested in picking some merch up, we do have that as well. There's a shelf below this video that will point you to that. This is the high tea on the high seas shirt, which uh, is one of the more popular pieces of merchandise. Are you interested in different metrics about the channel? If you are, let me know this down in the comments and we'll see if we can't add it in next year when we do this again. I will see you again soon. Thank you.